Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. It is Ryan here, and I have a question for you. What do you do when you win? Like, are you a fist pumper? A woo a hand clap, or a high-fiver. I kind of like the high-five, but if you want to hone in on those winning moves, check out Chumba Casino. At ChumbaCasino.com, choose from hundreds of social casino-style games for your chance to redeem serious cash prizes. There are new game releases weekly, plus free daily bonuses, so don't wait. Start having the most fun ever at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Lucky Land Casino. Asking people, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car, before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. This is Brum's The Word, a brand new podcast series from anything but footy. Focusing on the stars competing at this summer's Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. I'm Michael. And I'm John. And with 100 days to go, time to hear from someone who's hoping to make their mark at home in their second Commonwealth Games. Sophie Caldwell from Nottingham has been selected by Team England to compete in the Women's Triathlon, the first medal event on the programme at Birmingham 2022, taking place at Sutton Park. And as she's been telling Michael, she's also hoping to make the mixed relay team too, alongside Olympic champions Johnny Brownlee, Georgia Taylor-Brown and Alex Yee. When you're, you know, from Team England, it's it's really hard just to get, you know, your name on that on that team sheet, let alone deliver a, a race on on the day. So it's kind of met automatic criteria and kind of ticks that box, took like a lot of pressure off. And yeah, I was fortunate enough to be out in in the Gold Coast um, in 2018. But yeah, that for me was a developing race, a stepping stone, a chance to learn and and kind of take it all in. Whereas kind of going into Birmingham. I want to be a medal contender. I want to be kind of pushing to get to get on that podium. So definitely a different vibe from the last time. But yeah, still still just want to yeah push as hard as I can. Yeah, how much confidence do you take from the performances you've put in since Gold Coast? We've had four years. You've had World Series podiums in that time. It makes you a contender in Birmingham. Yeah, finally got on a podium for World Series last year. It is I kind of felt like it was never going to happen. So. Yeah, I think for me, I'm I'm just kind of like building each year. I've not really had a, a breakout year where I've kind of like burst onto the scene and, and done loads of stuff. I just kind of every year have kind of built on on the performances and, you know, kind of top 15s, World Series, couple of top 10s. And, and then last year, you know, managed to get two podiums. So, yeah, I definitely feel like I've kind of put myself in that position to kind of win a medal later on in the year whether that happens or not is a different story especially when yeah two of two of the uh, Olympic medalists will be there and yeah a whole host of, of other great athletes so yeah we'll have to see but yeah I definitely feel like I'm I'm stronger each year and you touched on it when we spoke initially of course such difficult competition just to be on team england you've got georgia and jess there who as we know what what they did in tokyo vicky holland an olympic medalist before and and still there of course and a lot of other up and coming very good british triathletes trying to get on the team england squad yeah i mean all three of the girls that are in the olympics last year are are english as well so yeah, it was kind of felt like a daunting task to kind of get my name on 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 the team sheet, really. But I think I just kind of have been building each year, and yeah, fortunately managed to kind of do enough last year to to meet that automatic criteria. Because, like you say, there's there's so much strength there, and and the younger girls that are coming through, you know, Sean and uh, Sean Rainsey and Kate Woff that are coming through as well, like any other nation you'd, you'd be putting them on your team so yeah it has its pros and cons being from the strongest nation but yeah I'm just I'm just so glad I managed to do it 
What does it mean to be part of the Commonwealth Games? Where does that event kind of register for you in terms of your competition schedule? Is it something you look out for, for example? I mean, at the end of the day, it's a major championship. They happen. They don't happen all the time. Like, it's the only time I'll ever put on an England, not the best, an England tri suit. Um, so it is really important. And, and for me, it's like my A plus 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 race. I wanna, I wanna go. I wanna deliver performance there. I don't have any major championship medals. I don't really have that many medals at all, really. So, yeah, I'm kind of. I've got the World Series in and around that, but the one that falls just before it might be coming out, if if it doesn't fit in with kind of being in the program and and you know meaning if it was detrimental in any way, it will come out to to aid the performance in in Birmingham. And talking of medals, do you go for for two if possible in Birmingham? Do you go for the the mixed team and the individual selection pending, of course? Yeah, I'd I'd love to be in the relay team. I think. Yeah, I obviously wasn't in the relay team in in the Gold Coast, and we're, again, we're so strong that you could put any combination of athletes in from England, and you'd probably, well, you definitely still come away with a medal. And yeah, I really hope that I can be fortunate enough to be in that team, and yeah, and and in front of a home crowd as well. Like everyone loves a relay, like whether you're in it, watching it, supporting it, whatever it is, like they're so exciting to be a part of as well. And yeah, I hope I can be a part of that and yeah, hopefully bring home a home medal in that. And obviously most of your competitions, you don't get the chance to get home after it and get in your own bed and put your head on your own pillow. It's very local to you. It is a proper sort of, you're based in Loughborough. It's in Sutton Park. It's a proper Midlands event. Yeah, I mean, I've raced at Sutton Park, oh, hun- no, I would say hundreds, probably slightly exaggerating, a fair few times for all like the, the road relays that you do growing up. So yeah, I've raced there quite a few times. And yeah, apart from the Leeds World Series, like I've never done a home race. So, you know, Johnny's fortunate enough, he's done London and, and Glasgow was, you know, pretty much a home race, maybe a bit longer in the car, but he still had that opportunity as well. So yeah, I think it's just going to be, it's going to be so great. And I think after everything with COVID and, and not having people out and the fact we're not in a stadium, hopefully gives the opportunity, again, COVID pending, that we can have a lot of people out there cheering and, you know, the whole course can be lined because we had a small taste of that in Leeds last year. And yeah, it was, it was epic. And, you know, I saw friends and family and having my coach so close, like it was, it was such a great day and it was made so much better because of having all the crowds there. So a quick word about your teammates before we wrap up. You talk about Leeds, Johnny's home city, Jesse's home city, Georgia base there, although from across the Pennines, of course. Um, that is quite a stellar lineup to be named alongside by Team England today, isn't it? Yeah, I, I mean, it's kind of, you know, funny when you look at it, really, because it is so strong. And, you know, whether you're GB or Team England, like, you know, it's just it's inspiring to be in that lineup with them. Like the three of them have got so many Olympic medals between them. And, you know, I've known G since we were 14, 15 and, you know, we were at London 2012 watching that together and we were watching Johnny and, and it was probably one of those things now you like look back on it and it's quite surreal really like now being sat here and, and going with those guys. And I just hope that I can, you know, learn what I can from them and yeah, hopefully we can all have a, have a great championships. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Great to catch up. Well done again, and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you. Take care. Sophie Caldwell on Brum's The Word. And in action on day one of Birmingham 2022, Friday, July 29th, in the triathlon. And don't forget to follow us for all the latest Commonwealth, Olympic and Paralympic sports news, views and interviews. We're available on Apple, Spotify, Amazon and Google. Just search for anything but footy. Podcast Network.